Good morning, sir. Sit down. Thank you, sir. How do you check for trigeminal nerve? So, trigeminal nerve is the uh, uh, fifth cranial nerve, sir. We can check its motor functions by checking the masseter pterygoid temporalis, sir. Then, uh, sensory uh, function by sensation over the face, we can check, sir. Then, corneal refle reflex, we can check right and left side. Then, jaw jerk, we can do. What is Todd's palsy? So, Todd's palsy happens after epileptic convulsions, sir. So, um, they may develop paralysis after an epilepsy. I mean, after a seizure, sir. So, they usually recover within 24 hours. What are features of UMN palsy? Sir, uh, the features of uh, upper motor neuron uh, palsy, sir. So, uh, basically, um, in this uh, upper motor neuron palsy, sir, the lesion, sir, it will be uh, in pyramidal uh, parts, sir, pyramidal cells, sir. And um, it can be uh, uh, the, their axons also, pyramidal cell axons, up to the cranial nerve nuclei, even anterior horn cells or anterior horn cells, sir. This is called as uh, UMN. Uh, that is the corticobulbar, corticonuclear or corticospinal tracts are affected. Uh, he here, sir, in UMN palsy, uh, the voluntary muscles usually will be affected, sir. And group of muscles, groups are affected, sir. Groups of muscles are affected. And the now voluntary muscles will be paralyzed, sir. There will be uh, spasticity or hypertonia. They'll, the power will be less uh, and uh, the deep reflexes will be brisk. Then uh, clonus also may be present. When we do the Babinski, we can see that there is dorsiflexion, so Babinski positive. How do you grade muscle power? So how to grade muscle power? So we can grade it as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, sir. 5 is the best, sir. Like he can move it um, against gravity and resistance, sir. 0 is like uh, he's completely paralyzed, sir. And uh, one is just flicker is there and uh, so 3, 4, 5 we can see so 3, 4, 5 everything is um, uh, against gravity so he can move against gravity 3, 4, 5. Which are the possible sites of lesion in hemiplegia? So the possible sites of lesion in hemiplegia can be the uh, the cortex uh, the or the subcortex uh, subcortical sir then it can be internal capsule brain stem or spinal sir. So, in uh, cortical uh, cortex, if it's involved, there can be convulsions, sir, and uh, it will cause monoplegia. Subcortical also will cause monoplegia, but um, there can be hemiplegia on the opposite side. Internal capsule, sir, it's the most common, so we should know this. Uh, internal capsule uh, is, uh, is the most uh, commonly affected place for uh, cerebrovascular accident. Complete uh, hemiplegia will be there on opposite side, sir. Brainstem always, uh, uh, it will cause crossed hemiplegia. That is the face of the opposite side will be affected, sir. Then uh, at the medulla, the fibers will cross. So whenever there is spinal lesion, sir, the ipsilateral hemiplegia will occur, sir, and there will be no cranial nerve involvement also. So this is called as incomplete hemiplegia. Ipsilateral side affected, no cranial nerves will be involved, sir, in uh, spinal. What are the classical features of cerebral thrombosis? Uh, sir, cerebral thrombosis uh, means uh, thrombus is forming, sir. That is usually can be in hypertensive and atherosclerotic patients. That is uh, uh, mostly elderly, sir. This can happen. Actually, this is the most commonest cause of uh, cerebrovascular accident. Here, the onset will be uh, less rapid, sir. So, it will be slow uh, compared to cerebral embolism and uh, hemorrhage, sir. There, there can be stepwise progression and they can have a carotid brewy, sir, which is highly supportive of uh, cerebral thrombosis. And this occurs uh, uh, during sleep or soon after rising from bed. That is because the uh, clot forming is uh, factors are more so during that time. What is Munkerberg's medial sclerosis? So this is a condition of the artery, sir. Uh, arteriosclerosis it is. We can see that there is uh, calcification, sir. Common causes of strokes in young. What are common causes of strokes in young? Sir, uh, in young people, mostly the cause will be embolism, sir. 
it can be because of um, like uh, rheumatic heart disease atrial fibrillation etc there could be hemorrhage so because of some rupture of some berry aneurysm or av malformation there could be many other causes so like um, um vasculitis uh, hyperviscosity syndrome or there can be uh, some accelerated atherosclerosis in these people demyelinating disease like multiple sclerosis then they are talking about some neoplasm sir then head injury they can have or they are taking some anticoagulant therapy they have some um, um, hemiplegic migraine or they have a procoagulant state or uh, they are having cerebral malaria or uh, venous uh, sinus thrombosis or drug abuse sir, like cocaine they can be taking drug abuse so so sir use of oral contraceptive pills sir also can be possible because it will cause um, thromboembolic strokes sir what is gillen bar syndrome so gillen bar syndrome is where the, the immune of the system sir it attacks the nerves it attacks our own nerves so it's a rare disorder where the body's immune system attacks the nerves what is brown sequoia syndrome so brown sequoia syndrome is the hemi the hemi section of spinal cord sir so so uh, at the level of the lesion sir uh, all sensations will be lost sir below it uh, on one side um, uh, on the same side you will lose the position sense fine touch vibration on the opposite side you will lose pain temperature etc and coming to motor at the level of uh, the lesion uh, the low, it will be like a lower motor neuron type of paralysis and um, uh, below the level of lesion uh, it will uh, on the same side itself it will be like an upper motor type of lesion What are the common causes of peripheral neuropathy? So like uh, peripheral neuropathy can be the we can see in metabolic causes like diabetes mellitus sir then we can see it in infective causes like leprosy then we can also see it in some um, uh, talk uh, uses of some drugs uh, then uh, like um, uh, uh, poisoning sir lead poisoning etc then deficiency of thymine could be a cause sir then uh, even connective tissue disorders like uh, um sle rheumatoid arthritis also can be there so some malignancy it could be hereditary even idiopathic it can be and even uh, alcohol so you may leave now thank you sir